What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we're here to talk about the brand new Final Tap Super Sugo Fest exclusive Eustace Kid and we're going to be taking him into the current GARP challenges against Revolutionary Army and also against Hody Jones. This unit is freaking amazing and I've already made a video on the YouTube channel where I used him against the GARP challenge 15 and showing how you can kind of cheese that content but in today's video we're taking him on into more you know you know generic content so use this kid uh look at his ink effect right here stage one and stage two i actually think his ink effect is amazing i love the water droplets i love the the impact effects definitely better than luffy's but i don't think it exceeds law's ink effect unfortunately but kid really really good artwork so with kid let's go ahead and break him down before we jump into the video today use this kid is a strength striker driven character with a captain effect that reduces his own cooldown by three turns at the start of the quest pretty interesting effect i would have preferred it if it was less cooldown but for all characters i think that would have been even better but then it also will boost strength striker and driven characters by five times and give them a 1.3 health boost and then it mentions if you're below 50 percent health you get a 25 percent damage reduction again i wish that was like a lower damage reduction but was just all the time i think with some minor tweaks this unit could be legit one of the best units in the game i still think is a really solid character overall really really happy that i have him but let's go ahead and look at his super type when you use him as a captain you'll get access to this and it says that in order to activate it you need to use his special two times during an adventure which sometimes you want to use his super type a little bit earlier but you don't want to you know lose all your health by activating his special so sometimes it's not the best thing to do but looking at what it does it changes all slots into matching and then it'll say that it reduces your crew's burn duration by three turns and then gives you super strength typing so you know generating a full board of slots for your team is pretty nice and then removing burn is also pretty interesting i would have preferred if it removed it by like five turns i think that would have been even better but uh either way i think with, as, as i said with minor tweaks you know kid could be a legit one of the best units in the entire game looking at kid's special ability though it's going to go ahead and have a really complex effect but it states if you're above 51 percent it's going to cut your health by 50% and then set his special charge to max. So you can see you're able to generate his special multiple times per quests relatively easily, especially if you have additional healers on your team. But then when you launch the special all the time, it's always going to deal 100 times his attack in typeless damage to all enemies that ignores everything except for normal attacks only. But that does include base defense, including blue shield. So that's very, very good. But it will also boost the attack of striker, driven, and strength characters by 2.5 times. But if if you already have an attack boost active it's a 2.5 times orb boost to those characters instead and if you already have an orb and an attack boost active it's going to be a two times color affinity boost to those characters instead so you can get in a situation where you can have legit a 2.5 attack orb and a two times color affinity boost to strength striker and driven just with one character it's pretty absurd the stuff some of the stuff you're able to do with this guy and of course he has the brand new final tap mechanic now the final tap mechanic is able to be activated if you're below 51 percent when you reach the final stage where you know if you're on the final stage you're going to be using his special to reduce your crew's health anyway which means that it's not really that difficult to activate but what you're able to do is is that if it is completely maxed out it's going to go ahead and give his own chain a 4.5 times chain for his last attack and his normal attack will hit all enemies that's pretty awesome so if you're up against the stage which has lots of mobs you can use his last tap to just generate that power for you even at level one it's always going to make his normal attack hit everyone on the field pretty awesome effect to have though the 4.5 times chain isn't always the best though because you got to remember that you could potentially get higher chain boosts from you know chain boundaries chain boosts etc so while 4.5 does seem exciting it's not actually like super amazing honestly it's not the best i think level one it is still very very good for captain kid right here so that's the rundown of the brand new super sugo fest exclusive captain kid if you guys are interested in this make sure to stay tuned because we're gonna go ahead and use him in the current guard challenges against revolutionary army and hody jones all right so jumping in now to revolutionary army with eustace kid as the captain now once again we need to help uh, get around that uh, annoying defensive effect but as i talked about in my law video vivi and rebecca are going to be such a phenomenal character for both law and kid unfortunately for kid's sake um he, uh, vivi and rebecca only get the boost when they are in the dual form or they're in the rebecca form because unfortunately vivi being a dex 
Free Spirit Cerebral is not boosted by Kit at all. That is a that is a little bit of a downside. It would have been nice to have have a have a Dex unit on the team that could hit super effective against those quick enemies. Not the end of the world, but just would have been a nice change. But being able to generate the 2.5 chain lock and the healing every turn is a great addition to the team. Now for this team, of course, you know, Revolutionary Army is a relatively older piece of content right now, so it's not too difficult for a lot of more modern released legends to uh, to actually get through it. So this team just has like a lot of power. We've got Snake Man for multi-stage or boost we got kaido for first activation attack boost and then an orb boost in the following turn and of course we got double kid to launch specials whenever we need to get their effects off as well just so much damage going on here we do also have the limited rare crew bonnie who's going to be very useful for the second last stage against karasu and Lindbergh. gets rid of the bind it actually will change the block orbs that we get into recovery as well so just a really nice unit to get around those really annoying uh, effects there but as i said having just specials just to blast through it because the, the good thing about the revolutionary army is there really isn't a lot of debuffs that you have to actually get around so a lot of the time you just bring a couple units for the debuffs that you have to get around and then the rest of the units are kind of dedicated towards damage and with these more modern captains having like flat 5x boosts to so many characters they're really not going to have a problem getting through the more older garp challenges for sure this is definitely a lot different from the team that you would have seen yesterday where we just kind of use Kid to cheese the content. And you definitely could do something similar here as well. Uh, though you do have to make sure that you have like the mono strength so that you are enabling the ability for you to actually get through the content whilst completing the chopper man condition where you have to have a mono strength team to get through it you could potentially do it but wanted to do it in a normal style content like we would normally see with a normal team but anyways i'll leave you guys with the rest of this clip and you can go ahead skip to the next next clip if you want where we go ahead and take kid against the hody Garp challenge instead. <laughs> Now we're going ahead and have a look at the Hody Garp challenge, which is definitely a difficult Garp challenge, don't get me wrong, but Kid just kind of destroys it. One of the big things though about the Garp challenge Hody is that there isn't a lot to get around in terms of debuffs, because like the first few stages here against Hody, you just have to kill him, and then the stage after, you need to get like kind of lucky with your slots, unless if you have characters with barry penetration or orb manipulation. This stage really sucks, but of course you can get lucky and get through it uh, without too much difficulty, of course. But then the stage after that is going to be Hyozo and Vanderdecken who have the poison and that's kind of it. As long as you have a support or a special to get rid of poison, that's basically it and you can just get through it. But then after that stage, that's where things start to get a little bit more tricky to, de to deal with. But honestly, once again, if you've got those applicable specials, you shouldn't have too many problems, especially because the captains these days are so strong. Another really powerful unit that actually is really strong for the brand new Final Tap kid is actually the dual unit Luffy and Sanji. Luffy and Sanji have that really cool special ability of giving you that really nice heal. It also gives you a full board of recovery slots, which with their switch effect, you can count as beneficial to your team. Unfortunately, you have uh, Sanji side of things, who is a Psy fighter free spirit, not going to be boosted by Kid, but still a good special that allows you to heal and it grants an attack boost. Then with that healing, which does allow you to overheal as well, it enables you to use Kid's special, which does the health cuts, and it also gives you the uh, orb boost, and it can give you a color affinity boost as well, depending on how you launch it. 
shit. So, a Luffy and Sanji, pretty good unit for Eustace Kid, actually. Plus, it's a Luffy and a Sanji unit. You get access to some really good support on Kid's team because of that. Because Kid himself doesn't really get access to that many good supports. So, having characters on your team that are able to get those good supports is a great benefit to the unit overall. Kizuna Moria, a fantastic unit for this team, generating those strength slots, giving us an orb boost, and it also has a clock buff, meaning that once that expires, we do get another orb boosting effect. So, so useful to have. Uh, and it also does the orb lock, meaning we can carry the matching slots that we get over to this stage here, as you're seeing against Daruma and against Icaros, the switch effect of Vivi Rebecca being once again very useful. And due to the fact that we are going to have our slots locked in those barriers, the Luffy Sanji special won't change those slots into recovery, so we can maintain those matching slots. And uh, just so much damage output. We're not even hitting perfects because we don't really want to be inflicted with that burn. We want to make sure that we are able to launch as kid, kid special as many times as we possibly can, of course. Uh, and then final stage, you know, we will have to stall one turn because we don't have a special ability that has special reverse, but we are able to, you know, stall one turn, use Vivi Rebecca on the following turn, and because none of our characters will have type advantage, the color affinity of Vivi Rebecca won't matter, neither would kids, but we're able to get a 2.5 attack, a 2.5 orb boost, full board of matching slots, 2.5 chain lock, and it's going to be completely GG. A very, very easy clear for the strength team versus Hody Jones with no problems whatsoever. The only real annoying part is like before you get to the, the stages where you start launching your special, but really, really hope you guys have enjoyed this one today. And if you guys did enjoy it, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.